Starting with uh, an important story, in fact, which is uh, coming in and has been one of the uh, most divisive as far as uh, people's opinions are concerned. This also regarding the stray dogs. In a freak accident, in fact, uh, Vag Bakri T Group Executive Director Parag Desai died at the age of 49. Desai was reportedly warding off a dog attack last week during his morning walk. He suffered a brain hemorrhage after a fall in Ahmedabad. The hospital, uh, in fact, has now released a statement in which it has stated, and I'm quoting them here, it was uh, stated that the patient fell down after being chased by dogs, but apparently there was no dog bite marks on his body. The hospital also added that recently there have been many cases. They have been getting a lot more cases of dog bites. So now this, in fact, has once again put and opened this entire debate as far as what to do to tackle the menace of stray dogs. Let me very quickly go across to my colleague uh, Tanishk, uh, who's joining us at this moment. Tanishk, a very, very freak incident, but not the only one regarding the dogs. Yes, definitely, Ankit. When the news of Parag Desai's death came in, se several media reports claim that Desai fell after he was chased by stray dogs. The hospital has now issued a statement saying that though it was stated that the patient fell down after being chased by dogs, but apparently there were no dog bite marks on his body. So what had happened is he had gone out for a walk. He fell down, died a few days later due to hemorrhage. It was around 6 p.m. when he was brought to the hospital in Ahmedabad and was unconscious and not responding. But as you mentioned, the hospital clarified that there were no dog bite marks on the body. But a key important point that the hospital made was that they have been getting a lot of cases due to dog bites and accidents caused by, this, by stray animals. Now, in this, police also, police also says that they have filed a case and are probing the circumstances under which the 49-year-old uh, Parag Desai died. A very, very unfortunate incident there, but once again brings out and uh, puts the light on the fact that there is a stray dog menace and the society and the authorities will have to come together to try and find a solution. Thank you so much, Tanish, for joining us with all those details. Uh, moving on to our uh, other big story that we are tracking here on NDTV, toxicity. And that's what we are calling it, in fact, because uh, come the winters and the challenge for our metros, Delhi to Mumbai, is the air emergency. The AQI levels already turning in the dark red. Now, Delhi witnessed very poor quality air, uh, in fact, uh, today. At more than uh, 360 places, hotspots in Delhi, the air quality index recorded more than 300 on the AQI, which is very poor level. Delhi is not the only city. Mumbai is also uh, uh, the city which is uh, facing a lot of toxic haze. Mumbai Civic Authority has deployed sprinklers, anti-smog guns. Delhi, meanwhile, is also upgrading its measures. But the question still remains, why is it a cycle that people have to fight every single year. Toxic air alert in the biggest metro cities in the country. 20 days before the peak pollution season, usually closer to Diwali. Delhi woke up to a thick layer of smog. As temperatures dip, air pollution is at emergency levels in the national capital. With the overall AQI in the dark red category, parts of Delhi reported severely toxic air while the overall air quality was very poor. While the air quality is expected to worsen in the coming days, the impact is already being felt both in Delhi and Mumbai. Mumbai air quality is in the moderate level but still very unusual for the maximum city. Pollution increase ho hai. Koi isme shakti baat nahi hai. Mujhe nahi sabhi ko mehsoos ho raha hai. Eyes infection bhi ho raha hai. Aankhon mein jalan mehsoos hoti hai. Bahut sari aisi cheeze hain jo shayad dheere dheere karke badhti hain jo us time pe mehsoos na ho but baad mein jaake wo mehsoos zarur ho rahi hogi. Vahan bahut zyada bahut zyada ho gaye hain. Log yahan pe पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट को यूज ना करते हुए लोग अपने आउन ट्रांसपोर्ट को यूज कर रहे हैं तो मेजर रोल तो ये है और दूसरा मेजर रोल ये हो सकता है कि जैसे कि दिवाली आ रही है तो दिवाली आने से एक महीना पहले ही यहाँ पे पटाखे फोड़ लिए जाते हैं और कभी कभी तो नाक में जलन मसल मसल लग जाता है और ऊपर से क्या होता है कि जो सीने में है ना वो जलते रह जलते रह जाता है कभी कभार तो मुंबई शहर में आपको अभी के समय में बता दें कि इतना ज्यादा निर्माण का कार्य चल रहा है कि प्रदूषण का जो स्तर है वो खुद मंत्री साहब भी मान चुके हैं बीएमसी भी मान चुकी है कि निर्माण कार्यों से बड़ा है मुंबई शहर में करीब छह हजार 
जगहों पर निर्माण का कार्य चल रहा है और ए क्यू आई जो लेवल है वो बीच में कई समय पर हमने देखा कि दिल्ली से भी खराब स्तर पर पहुंच चुकी थी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट मीन वाइल मेकिंग लास्ट मिनट एफर्ट्स टू क्लियर द एयर आर्थिक राजधानी मुंबई शहर में लगातार प्रदूषण की खबरें सुर्खियां बनी हुई हैं और एन की खबर का असर ही एक तरह से कहेंगे कि अब देखें मुंबई की सड़कों पर जिस तरह से दिल्ली में नजर आती थी अब एंटी स्मॉग गन नजर आ रही है यानी कि पानी का छिड़काव खासतौर से उन जगहों पर किया जा रहा है जहां कंस्ट्रक्शन का निर्माण का कार्य चल रहा है तो मुंबई शहर में आपको अभी के समय में बता दें कि इतना ज्यादा निर्माण का कार्य चल रहा है कि प्रदूषण का जो स्तर है वो खुद मंत्री साहब भी मान चुके हैं बीएमसी भी मान चुकी है कि निर्माण कार्यों से बड़ा है मुंबई शहर में करीब छह हजार जगहों पर निर्माण का कार्य चल रहा है जितने हॉट स्पॉट है वहाँ जो गतिविधियाँ चल रही है उनको कंट्रोल करने के लिए एक्शन को तेज करने का निर्देश दिया गया साथ ही साथ जो वाटर स्प्रिंकलिंग का जो काम हो रहा था पानी का जो छिड़काव हो रहा था अब उसमें जो डस्ट सेपरेशन के लिए पाउडर जो है मिला करके अब छिड़काव करने का निर्देश दिया गया है throwing at uh, everyone in the form of smoke towers sprinklers and something that's being said for a couple of years by experts there are studies that have shown that our children are going to live 10 to 12 years lesser than uh, you know anyone else in another city uh, doesn't this kind of affect our leaders and politicians hardly visible these deadly pm 2.5 pollutants currently over 80 times the safe limit enter the lungs and cause chronic respiratory diseases and even cancer there is definitely a rise in the number of cases that we are seeing these days especially over the last 4 5 days there are calls also coming repeatedly from my regular patients and this damage is not just restricted to the lungs of course it starts from the lungs but then it gradually starts spreading to other organs as well really i think the time has come where we need to decide our outdoor activities based on the aqi level so if the aqi level is 200 and above then all those people who are vulnerable they should restrict any kind of strenuous physical activity outdoors it is now an annual affair to report on the ramifications of the public health emergency that air pollution is in the national capital and other parts of north india well this needs round the year attention and not just last ditch efforts by the government every year the government's attempt is to deploy smog guns and smog towers bang in the middle of peak pollution season but the unfortunate part is that this is too little too late in new delhi with camera person gauri prasad and pooja from mumbai vedant for ndtv Moving on now, 16th day of uh, the continuous uh, conflict between Israel and Hamas, which is only escalating. Now, Israel has uh, hit uh, hard uh, today as well. Multiple uh, sites in Gaza have been hit by the retaliatory attacks of uh, Israel. Over 300 air strikes have taken place in the last 24 hours. The non-stop bombardment has plum- plummeted uh, the civilians, uh, in fact, uh, uh, in uh, Gaza to a new. humanitarian catastrophe now meanwhile israel's hostage challenge it's uh, only getting trickier the hamas has now revised the figures of the hostage with them to 222 one big explosion after the other Over two weeks into the war, and the nightmare for Gazans has become worse. Just in the past 24 hours, there have been at least 300 airstrikes by Israel on Gaza. A day after Israeli military said that it will increase the number of airstrikes targeting Hamas, more than 400 Gazans have been killed in air raids, most of them women and children. Bombs fell on many areas in Gaza, including the Nusairat refugee camp. and locations close to Gaza's Al Shifa and Al Quds hospitals On the other side of the fence Israel has been amassing troops for many days preparing for a ground offensive against Hamas In preparation for the planned attack IDF conducted a raid into Gaza on Sunday one IDF soldier was killed during the raid 
Not just that, Israel's hostage crisis has just escalated with confirmation that as per latest reports, at least 222 hostages are being held by Hamas. אנחנו מסרנו הודעה למשפחותיהם של 308 חללי צה״ל ו-222 חטופים. אני רוצה להסביר את זה. 222 חטופים, המספר הזה הוא מתעדכן ומשתנה אל מול האיסוף המודיעיני שלנו וסגירת קצוות, אבל הוא גם נובע מזה שמדובר פה בלא מעט אזרחים זרים. U.S. and its allies in the U.K., France, Canada and Italy have extended support to Israel's right to defend itself against Hamas. At the same time, allies have urged Israel to uphold international humanitarian laws and protect civilians. Humanitarian aid has just started to flow into Gaza, with more than two dozen trucks entering the war-torn region. The United Nations... Protests have erupted all over the world, some showing support for Israel, and some voicing their concerns for Gaza citizens. According to reports, Israel has said that it will not provide any aid to Gaza and even pretend unmonitored shipments of goods from entering the region till the hostage situation is reversed. With Vishal Vivek, Bureau Report, NDTV. Meanwhile, it was bloodbath uh, as far as the share markets across the globe are concerned. Market slide of 1%. Uh, Sensex in India declined to 825 points and ended at 64,571. Meanwhile, Nifty also had a fall of uh, 260 points and ended at 19,281. Global equities a fall as a 10-year yield on US Treasury hits about 5%. Now, investors are worried. Uh, they think that it is because of the war between Israel and Hamas. If this continues and, uh, you know, escalates and go on longer, this will have a further adverse impact on the share markets and the shares across the globe. Meanwhile, the quest for jobs for those passing out of college seems to be getting harder. IT major Infosys isn't sure of going to campuses for recruiting freshers as it has a huge stock on the bench. And reports suggest that there is a record jump in those searching for a job in sites like LinkedIn. NDTV Sakshi Bajaj decodes the job realities for fresh graduates in the IT sector. IT majors such as Infosys and Wipro along with some others are unlikely to visit college campuses this year to hire freshers, while the Chief Human Resources Officer at TCS said in his commentary during Q2 earnings that their process for campus hiring has been initiated for this year. The big question is, why is overall hiring in the IT industry hitting a roadblock? Well, NDTV spoke to IT analysts who said IT firms still have a significant fresher bench from the previous year and many still aim to enhance utilization which essentially means training freshers already in the system and giving them job roles. However, what else is causing this shift? IT firms suggest there's been a demand decline in particular from key markets like the US. This essentially means demand decline of software, software services and order flows being slow due to the slowdown in global economies. Now, co-founder of Infosys and currently chairman of Accela Ventures, Chris Kopalakrishnan, told NDTV that the Indian IT services industry is a reflection of the global economy. And given that the global economy is going through a slowdown at the moment, the Indian IT industry's growth has also slowed down. He also said that the global economy will bounce back and so will the Indian IT industry. Now to all those freshers wondering what happens to their future and whether this is a long-term or a short-term scenario, NDTV spoke to experts who believe this could be a near-term to medium-term scenario lasting up to two to three quarters, with some saying salary hikes may come in the third quarter as the only silver lining for the sector at the moment. Former India cricketer, test captain and legendary spinner Bishan Singh Bedi passed away at the age of 77. Regarded as one of the greatest left-arm spinners in world cricket, Bedi played 67 tests and 10 ODIs for India between 1967 to 1979. Our tributes to one of the legendary Indian cricketer, travel well, sir.